Hello and welcome to a Division video. This is the first in a Let's Play series. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is on a fresh character, I'm going to go through all of the story missions at the recommended level with the recommended gear. And complete them just in case you're struggling. You can look this up and see the best way to approach them. Um, so yeah, this is the first one, the Madison Square Garden. Uh, mission, the recommended level is level 4, which is the level I'm at, so I'm not too high, not too low, which is about where you want to be. I have match made with two other people who, so uh, it's random matchmaking, however they seem to be lagging behind a little bit, so I'm going to throw this first bit on my own. tips then. Cover is so so important. Get it wherever you can. Also if you're in a tight spot switching to your sidearm will be a lot quicker than reloading so if you find yourself confronted when you're needing to reload pull out your sidearm instead finish the enemy off and then go back to your reloading. Just like this situation there. Finish that security enemy system, off. I might be able to find Candle's location. See, I've already got through two mere packs, but at least I now have somebody with me. And all you have to do is follow the instructions. In a previous video, I did complete this on hard mode with my first primary character, just to give you guys Hatched a look in. into the gameplay. This is probably a better video to watch if you want like help with the actual mission. Although it is very but straightforward. But if you're not used to this type of game, then where I'm the same level as you would be at doing this, as a fresh character, then this will probably be more helpful. Like Obviously after this one I will I will do all of them a separate video There's so that you can guys. see you cover, you be the best kind of strategies and guns to be using and where your gear should be at the time. Obviously, if you are an uh, experienced player at this game already, you have some tips and improvements, then I'll you know happy to hear them as well. Also to not let the enemies get behind you if you attack from both sides. So which ones are rushing you, take them out first. Sorry on the left. Additional hostiles detected. Got behind me, thankfully, it's covering me. Uh, you can see that they are at the top. Additional this point, detected. At this point in the game, you only get one weapon. My secondary is locked. Actually, I think I have unlocked it. But I don't have any gun that I can put in that slot. Morning. Additional hostiles detected. Somebody they're running left and they are some right as well. I think I'm a bit too close to what I'm going to do is I'm going to back a little bit. I'm supposed to help in doing that. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of recovery time. They are still rushing forward. It's just about taking the time. to pick off. Now we can use the health kit. I'll take out that one there. And now it's just the one at the back. So make sure you pick up all the med kits you can. Candle and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen. That's that room clear. So the key is to not panic there when you've got Word is that they've really tried when you, you're low health, just green splashing red, it's easy to, to just panic office. and freeze we used to watch and get picked off. Together. But just look for the nearest bit of cover. Use a med pack if you can. 
I think it's better my I also have on me a portal shield, this. which I will use if I'm really then desperate. I think about all the doing their best uh, but as soon going. as you've done this mission, you can unlock That's the first healing for, skills, which Go you will them. need for the rest of the game. That's probably a good thing. This mission is the first one you complete. Obviously, you don't have to do this one first. You could do the level five one first, or but as this is a level four. It makes to sense get to Kobe's, to you'll have first. to pass by some contaminated areas. There used to be plenty of sick people being treated there before they got shot. So be careful. This is just a quick spot to the room. I always find it better to go around to get the same side of them. Uh, a lot of people will just shoot them across there, which is fine. It gives me a bit of cover. There is Jessica Kendall, the doctor we're supposed to be rescuing. Um, the heart above the enemy's head, the half heart, that is bleeding. They're bleeding, which does a uh, gradual damage. That does wear out though. It's a nice stuff to effect to a Just kind of jumping from cover to cover. There is someone behind me. I can tell by the mini map up there. Keep your heads down and keep it quiet. Morning. Hostiles detected. Hostiles, so whilst we're waiting for them, pick up as much as you can and get to cover. I'm bleeding. Just watch my health there, it is going down. The screen gets very low. My teammate's health is quite low there as well. Now we're bleeding stops. Again, take out any rushes first. And if you want to kind of shake it up a little bit, just throw a grenade out. Use that one in the left diagonal. That's oh, the left on the D-pad. So I've got two more there. Another one. The escort party's taking heavy fire from the roof. That's all they can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. Now the final bit of the mission, secure the roof and kill the boss. All yours, Agent. Seems to be a little bit away ahead of them. Behind me. Alpha Escort, we have an agent on the roof. This candle made it to your position. Affirmative. I want the restock ammo. And you see one, no respawn zone. That's when you know you're at boss. Just if you die, you cannot be revived. No, sorry, you cannot be respawned, you have to be revived. I'm waiting for my teammates to... Uh, See when that red circle that is them throwing a grenade, you just want to avoid that at all costs. That's green, but if I go for that, that person there on the top of the box. shoot button and you won't actually break cover. It's not very accurate however. Uh, time 
for a grenade. So it's definitely time to get back. Another grenade, maybe. Shoot the closest to you, the people are like to rush you. slowly so just wait for it to get out of danger maybe some blind cover fire see that now I have time enough to not get one here just pop up the first fire boss which was quite effective then Now he's in on the left, I'm going to run a bit closer. Ah, <laughs> and took a risk. And I actually got down. And so did my opponent, my um, teammate, but then because someone else killed him, it automatically revived us. And we got a level up out of that as well. And you pick up the box, the loot that the boss has dropped, make sure you pick up any other loot. And maybe some other med packs. And you should level up from this as well. That's level five. You can look at the items you've got. Still nothing as good as the gun I've got. But at least now I can equip a secondary. At this point, if you've got an assault rifle equipped, just look to equip something else. Uh, I would recommend a shotgun for this point in the game. And that secondary. Just go through your armor. Look at that. Anything better than what you already had. And that's it for the first mission. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back soon with the second mission. Um, we'll go through all of them one by one.